I've about peaked for my maple syrup operations, but I'm not using it to its full extent. That's where I'll be buying the last few major upgrades to my sugar shack, along with using a fairly new maple syrup container attached to the truck and see how well that works out. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's start our Wednesday off where we got an empty truck bed here is because in my sugar shack, we got a total of, I believe, okay, now nine barrels that we have to sell to the Maple Syrup Federations because yesterday of a Tuesday end game, I forgot to sell all these barrels, which I think I made four of them, but anyways, we'll be making quite a handful of money selling these, so let's put this in the truck, or the, the bed of the truck, and head over to the Maple Syrup Federation and make some upgrades. So in the last video, as I head on over to some concrete right here, this paved road, is that... Why am I all just staring to the left? What the hell? I'm gonna say in the last video is that I called the paving company and paved all these roads. Basically, a majority of these roads up in here, so I have the roads paved by Francis House and a paved parking lot, basically to my driveway and all that. So I spent roughly a hundred thousand hours, I think it was like eighty thousand hours worth of work or something like that to pave a one this road here and the parking lot. Let me go in the parking lot, my damn driveway to pave that lot in my driveway. So it's not having some country ass looking country Steve dirt road to my house, whether if it's the driveway or the actual road that leads up to it, but I know that the other upgrade I still haven't completed yet for the paving company is the full paving upgrade, which I believe it's $115,000, where it paves the other side of the road, which basically paves the entire road to your home. So there's no such thing as a gravel road leading to your house, whether you're coming from the road behind me right here, or on the other side of the road, here, basically the other side of the map. So hopefully there's going to be no more Tom Forey with these barrels, especially for this one that's kind of freeballing behind me. So let's get to the Federation in one piece. So despite that screw up, I should have nine barrels to sell, which the other tenth barrel is still needs to be filled up back at the sugar shack. So I believe there's nine of them, correct? So 1800 hours. So yes, we got nine barrels. So let's head into the good old, what is this called in French? Federation Syrup de Erepo. Even though I'm England, I don't know if I said that right. So my boy Eric, what you got to say? More stuff about Maple Syrup? Uh, welcome to the Maple Syrup Federation, which I believe that's what this translates to in English. So first things first, let's buy a barrel so we have a second barrel that we can work with at the house. What he said, will that be all? A very good choice. No, that's terrible. Terrible business decision I've ever made so far. So the big boy upgrade that we got here, well, one of the big boy upgrades is this guy right here, which is Upgrade! Combo, truck, bed, tank, and outside pump for about $10,000 or nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars and nice cents, 69 cents. So what happens if I just grab this? Yeah, you won't regret this attack was passed by your home. The installation should be finished by the time you get back. Okay, cool. You can back into the garage door next to the pallet with the tank. So in here, yeah, back the old truck with the maple syrup bed tank in here to sell. What happens if I just like run this over here? Uh, sorry, what? Sorry, but your bed tank is empty. Uh, I disagree. So do I just pop it on somehow? Oh, just like that, but I got the barrel, so back it on up and place it like that. But it's usually going to be placed on here because once I uh, step in the truck, you just seen how it popped back, right? Yes, it did. I mean, it's going to be a risk having this flying around and all that stuff, but hopefully this will fly out once we go back home. And the other upgrade we need, so Eric, brace yourself for this. I'm going to buy the additional 9600 liter plastic tank, so... Yeah, again with the tech passing by my home. He just so happened to be there. Yeah, he just so happened to be there. And again with these new roads from the last video, I can handle this thing like a dream. Look at that, 130-something kilometers an hour. 140 right here, but once you get to this dirt road, all hail will break. Quistama. Don't fall. Nice, it didn't fall, but hold your breath. Okay, we're still good. So yeah, on a paved road, I could just fly with this bad boy, either with the truck, the Koenig, probably the Doom Buggy too, a race car, this and that. Like, I could fly with either of those cars, or any car now, compared to a dirt road where I have to go really slow and just take it easy. So here is the dual tank. So it's just two of the tanks here. So we got the main tank and the backup tank just sitting here. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. 
if I'm certain, I think out back is where, yes, yeah, this little hose here. So what happens here? Just drive the truck and just hope to God it connects or what? So when it comes to, well, first of all, when it comes to attach the thing here, so I gotta plop this down, and are these 12 millimeter bolts? Let me see. I know they can criticize me, but I'm gonna be reusing the rusty 12 millimeter bolts, so I think you just grab a wrench and just make sure it fits and all that stuff. So impact gun, do your thing once I click onto you, and 20s, 20s, damn it. Well, fortunately, I got four of the 20 millimeter bolts so I can make this happen. So 20 goes like that, and I'll do it to the three others to secure this in place. Do I need four of these or two of them? I swear, there's like a thingy here, unless it just attaches like that to the bed in this state. I think it does. I mean, it's the first time I'm doing this kind of upgrade. I got the freaking bed stakes located at Francis' house next to his garage. We don't know where, uh, where they're at. I believe it's just two bolts, so if it's two bolts, then great. So what happens when I get in the truck? I think it stays. Yes, it stays. Cool. So two bolts to secure this. And a side out, 85% there, 81% there, so no good on the ground level growing operations. How about down the bunker, which I know the bunker's a bit OP and all that stuff, all the fertilizer, and I believe 100%. So <laughs> we still got enough daylight ahead of us, so let's get to work on this. So weed. Just do that until 100% basket is full. And I think somebody did say that at the little packager here, that you could just package into the big weed joint. Oh, and conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah, so once this reaches 100% of your harvest basket, the regular harvest basket, not the big boy only for my potatoes, which I need to buy a second one. The main harvest basket, this one, you gotta reach 100% with your weed in order to use the big packager instead of using the grinder upstairs. So it says this basket is full for any of these. So once it's at 95% full at this rate, yep, I can't do it anymore. I'm not able to grind this. Not enough weed close by to build that pack. So upstairs, I gotta use the grinder and then grind away and wrap the joints right here, which I got four of them so far. So we got both barrels completed up in here, and we got some left in the reservoir, 39 as of right now. What happens if I drive around the corner and do something with the tank here? Will I fill up with a little bit in the reservoir, or does it be like full or something like that? So how does this work? So, just drive up to it and do that. So does it do something with my... Yes, it does. So now, what will happen here? It'll go to tank. Yep, it goes straight to the tank right here, my, my truck. Okay. And you can kind of see, we got some of the maple syrup in the tank here, the actual tank. It's like a hundred, uh, 1200 liters or something like that, this big of a tank. What the? I didn't put this here, so in the freaking lost and found up in here, we got a big wee joint pack, so... <laughs> Run this back to the bunker and see if I can pack this now to the huge, make this into a huge pack, which I doubt it. All right, are we good enough? Damn. I know it's 21 or something, like 27, 27 you gotta do to make the big weed joint packs, or huge uh, weed joint packs. So what happens when I drive the truck, like detach what I got here with the truck here with the bed? So what happens if I just drive to the Maple Syrup Reservation? Well, what will happen to the tank right here with the hose? What will happen if I drive? It still go- <laughs> It just plops back to its place. <laughs> well, I was just trying to say so I can't speak today and all that good stuff. Let's see what happens if I were to sell whatever I got in the tank. Will I need to, like, sell it when it's full or just sell it as is? Unlike the barrels, you gotta sell it till it's full and go from there. And on top of that, too, will I get, like, the weekly payouts just like you usually do with the barrels? Will I get your payout every Sunday at midnight, which I normally make, like, what, over $23,000 per week of just selling maple syrup to the Federation of Sayalta? What the? Damn, that was close. I gotta get used to handling of this uh, paved road compared to the gravel road. So it's obvious I'm gonna get $400 worth of barrels, so... Selling barrels, I think I made $2,200? So what happens if I back up into the garage here with the door wide open? So let's see here. I will get 
$245. That's 147 liters. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get paid every Sunday for the next few weeks, so I'm gonna get $245 for the week, every Sunday. Nice. So this is definitely an alternative, a big-ass alternative, to just selling maple syrup instead of relying solely on barrels. That's nice. Now, how will this work, seeing out the big-ass thingy right here, the tank in the back? So, uh, normally I'd fit six in the bed, like, nice and even like this, but this is gonna be a different story. It's gonna be a little glitchy, a little glitch fest. Just bear with me. Mm-hmm, it's gonna be a little glitch fest, I know that. So, let's start stacking ever so properly. All right, here's the 10th planter. Let's put this on the tank. Not too bad, so we got three in the actual truck, the actual cabin of the truck here with the engine running. I uh, can't close. So let's take off real slowly, starting fourth gear. Well, third gear, and then increment to fourth. But watch out for that one on the right. There it goes, goddamn. And there that goes. Double, goddamn. All right, just to verify everything, I believe that's all 10 that I got back home. Nothing's been lost, right? So three over here. All right, two, four, six, seven, three. So yeah, we got 10. Nice, they've all came home safely. And for the heck of it, I might as well park the truck right here with the tank right here connected to the sugar shack. So we can collect everything overnight with what's left in the tank here. Well, first of all, what's left in the sugar reservoir, the maple syrup reservoir. That fast? God damn. I'll see what's left was was left in the syrup reservoir into the bed tank for our maple syrup tank in the trunk. Alright, so it's a new day now. It's about to be opening time here. So how much will this $697 of 418 liters? Not that bad. But what am I going to do with all 11 of these barrels? Nice trick shot. So let's figure this out. Barrel goes here. And of course, you know, the rest barrel goes there. And stack. Something like this. This could, this could kind of work out. Uh, you agree? All right, this might be the best I can do. Just hastily like hillbilly stack these in the back and a couple on top. Three in the truck itself. But... Undo the parking brake, and go. This... This is fine, right? Yep, we're fine, so... Drive back in this condition. Alright, back home with 11 of these barrels with 48 in the reservoirs. So let's fill up some barrels and the rest, especially with the tank here. I might as well just leave this. Probably for the weekend, especially with the tank, and just focus on selling actual barrels first. I'll just sell the usual few barrels a day, which is probably like four or five of them per day, and try to sell all of the barrels, and especially the one in the actual bed of the tank of the truck, and sell all that next week on a Monday. Oh, uh, what the hell? Is that a barrel? Yes, that's a barrel. What the hell? How did I miss that one from carrying it all the way back to my house? Well, do we have room for this despite putting... Let's see here. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I guess pretty much at this rate, I'll probably have to buy the trailer for this truck so I have enough room, like leniency, to carry, like, either the barrels or these. Damn it. Planters. As it base drops to the floor. Like, we get these planters and haul them safely to the house if I'll go on outside, picking them up, and pray to God that they don't fall off like that, and same thing, and rinse and repeat, until you... Hello, Mr. Opal... What is it again? Uh, Opal Sintra. Wanna be Chevy Venture. I'll say, get the trailer, and haul everything safe and sound, instead of just having everything fall off, and just rinse and repeat by just picking it up, putting it back in, only to fall off like a quarter mile down the road. All right, boys, it's a Friday, it's about noon, and every single one of the potato plants here and the upstairs kind of seal soul is all ready to go to be harvested. So first things first, as per usual, start with the potatoes and make some french fry packs to sell at the snack delivery in town, and then work my way up with the actual weed, with the regular harvest basket, and try to get some more packs and all that stuff going, and hopefully sell some right there. And I don't get this with the french fry pack. It says 20% and it uses up 20% of the basket. But once I click on make a french fry pack when it's at 20%. What the? 
Normally when it's at 100%, it just says like, oh, we don't have enough potatoes. Harvest some more, but weird. Now we got all five and an empty harvest basket, 100% empty. It's interesting. C, 20%. Not enough potatoes are nearby to bake a pack. Hit that and we're at 20%. Does this round us up to 20% and it's just like at 19.9 whatever. And reality, it's not at 20 quote unquote percent to make this happen to make five packs in a row. So we had to settle with four packs that we have to have for this harvest. Our potatoes are done and the cannabis yoso. Same thing like I do downstairs, just harvest as I, <clears throat> because of my maple syrup needs, and please make this, there we go, full. So, we can do this to the weed packager. Currently, I got 18 of these, and also, I forgot about this, I can only do the big joint packs right here as it casually goes down a conveyor belt. Is that the best I can do with this machine is the big package. I forgot about this, we got to buy a huge upgrade packager. So instead of just making the big weed joint packs here, I can combine all 20 70s to make the huge weed joint pack instead of just settling with the big joints right here. All right, to wrap this up, let's see how many of the french fry packs do I got going up in here. So let's first get the ones inside the, the ones inside of my truck here. So it's a 200, 400, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, uh, 14, 16, 18 and grab this boy 2000 and hit the ones in the back which should pretty much be full in the next few packs left which i think 3600 is the limit yes Let's see 34 36 and 36 and yes 3600 dollars so we can't sell more on a friday but we can as long as i put them in a circle here sell this in a saturday so we got three there looks like there's five in excess so yep, five in excess, and we got three, six, nine there. Eighteen pallets that we sold for the french fry packs, plus five there. So we'll be getting an additional $1,000 on a Saturday, seeing that this is completely full. And chef, seeing I don't have a teen at my house, sup? Let's grab some for the road. So with the recent addition to the game with this maple syrup tank attached to the bed of the truck, I'd say this is a great alternative instead of just relying on barrels to sell to the Federation. Seeing that it's a weekend, I'll double down on my maple syrup production until Monday. Same thing with the bunker as I need four more big weed packs to make a single huge weed pack for $10,000, but I need to upgrade the packager to make that happen. I'll have that figured out in the next video. So anyways, that'll do it with Mon Bazool. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.